Today we're going to finish off writing the function that's invoked when pressing or clicking the voice recognition button that's over here. So what I'm going to do is to try to wrap everything in a try except conditional. So let me make some space over here. Okay. Now we take the speech recognition microphone as source and we try the following. So with SR microphone. So the speech recognition microphone as source. We try and we're going to define a variable audio that's going to be our recognizer, which is going to listen to our source. So the recognizer is going to listen to the microphone and it's going to have a timeout of five seconds. And we're going to create another variable message. that's going to be a string of our and we're going to use recognize Google here. So what's going to try to recognize is the audio and it's going to use my API key, which is Google API key. And I, as I've already specified in a previous video, um, I'm not displaying my key because I want to keep it private. And I'm basically importing it from another file, as you can see here. So from keys, I'm importing everything. And that includes my Google API key as well. So when this recognition is done, I want to play a sound effect or a prompt to let the user know that the recognition is completed. And then I'll focus my cursor in the entry field and delete whatever is in there, if there's anything, and paste the message that I got from the recognizer. So I'm going to use the mixer, as you know from the previous video. Mixer music load. And this time it's going to load. The file is called chime. Two, MP3, and you'll have this file in the description in my GitHub in the GitHub of this project. Once the file is loaded, we're gonna do mixer music play, and then, like I said, we wanna focus our cursor in the entry field. So entry one focus. Then we want to delete whatever is in there. So entry one delete from point zero. So from the beginning to the end and entry one insert. We want to insert the message that we got from um, from the recognizer. So we're going to insert it at position zero and it, we're going to insert the message. Okay, now that we have the message in the field, what do we do with it? Well, we're basically doing the same thing that we're doing when clicking the search button. So I'm just gonna, and this is handled by the callback. So I'm just gonna copy paste these if else. So I'm gonna paste them over here want to make sure that I get the indentation right. We'll see it when we test it. So else pass. So over here, I want to paste I could, yeah, I want to paste whatever is inside the, I'm just going to replace this with the message just to be certain. So 
message so no function and over here and over here and over here okay so as I said we wrapped we try to wrap everything in a try except conditional so then we have our exceptions and we need these exceptions to avoid um, unexpected crashes so I'm gonna handle an exception that comes from recognizer which is from the recognizer which is a unknown value error and if it encounters this error what it will gonna do it's is to print like Google speech recognition could not understand audio and another exception except SR it's going to be a request error so an inability to communicate with the API and we're going to accept we're going to catch this as E and we'll, if and when this happens I'm going to print say could not request results from Google speech recognition service okay and else I'm just gonna say pass okay so yes that's just about it in the next video we're gonna do some final tweaks to the code and we're gonna test how everything works out and see how many errors we've made so if you enjoyed this video please hit the like button and subscribe thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one